Thousands make their way to the streets of Birmingham, all for a common cause. Good evening, I'm Lee Garner. Political commentator Glenn Beck is behind a big event in town called Never Again Is Now. Leading up to this afternoon's program was a restoring unity rally that went from Kelly Ingram Park to the BJCC. That's where WIAT 42 News reporter Stefan Dangle joins us from live with more about just how big this march was. Stefan. Yeah, good evening, Lee. It was quite massive, actually. Literally thousands of people turned out from places as far as away as Dubai, Canada, and even China. Now, I got to tell you, earlier today, the energy here was pretty electric as people marched through the streets chanting, All Lives Matter. At every corner you turn, there were feet walking and voices chanting. Through downtown Birmingham, where more than 50 years ago, a different movement marched as well. I think it's not only the start, but the continuation of what Martin Luther King back did back in the 60s. And remembering that, remembering that legacy. And I think this is a way that God is restoring and healing the city of Birmingham so that we can be everything that he's called us to be, you know, that we can unify. Nothing brings people together like the sound of music. As people danced to the sound of the beat, conversations between total strangers were being had about these United States and whose life matters most. God is calling his Christians, all of us, despite denomination, to take and stop the things we disagree on. But according to some, the phrase all lives matter discredits the concerns of the African American community, hence the Black Lives Matter movement. So I have to ask, if all lives matter was in the dictionary in 2015, what would be its definition? To me, that pretty much means one love, one God, all lives matter, regardless of race, regardless of what type of religion you say you have. Now, inside of the Legacy Arena at the top of the hour, they're going to be having an exclusive movie showing of a film called Woodlawn, which talks about the local high school here that was torn apart by racism and hate in the 1970s. Now, if you don't have a ticket, you're going to have to wait until October 16th when it comes out in theaters. Live in downtown Birmingham, Stefan Dingle, WIT 42 News coverage you can count on.